The gas to energy project, when constructed and operationalized, will significantly reduce the emission of harmful gases into the atmosphere. This is one of several reasons the PPPC government is moving ahead with the 900 million US dollar project. Senior Environmental Officer attached to the Technical Services Program at the Environmental Protection Agency, Tashana Redmond, said Guyana's current fossil fuel consumption has significant environmental implications. Cards dating back to the State of the Environment report in 2016 would have indicated that the electricity sector, the power generation sector, is a primary consumer of fossil fuel and subsequently is a great emitter, contributes significantly to the emission of greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide. Most of Guyana's electricity is fueled by imported diesel and heavy fuel oil. If Guyana does not begin the transition, it would have to import even more of these polluting fuels because demand for energy is growing. You look at our lifestyles now compared to 10, 20 years ago. The average home and this pandemic has definitely increased that. If you go into the average home, there are several digital um, devices that need to be powered. Though they run on battery, eventually that battery dies and has to be repowered. Your home, you need fans. Your home, you need to heat up food and all of these things. So energy consumption is definitely on the increase. Redmond's statement was also supported by head of the EPA's oil and gas department, Joel Gravesand. Additionally, a government-commissioned report by k and advisors indicated that the gas to energy project would reduce greenhouse gases by 6.1 million tons and contaminant emissions by 200,000 tons in a 12-year period. These reductions would save Guyana approximately 220 million US dollars in that period and mitigate harmful impacts on global warming and the quality of the air.